What's up guys, AJ Quest here, uh, bringing you another fight review that's coming. It's going to be on the undercard for Khabib versus Ferguson. Um, but it's pretty much this, uh, you know, this, this card's pretty much stacked, man. There's such, so much great fighters on this card. It's, and I can't believe it, this is not even on pay-per-view. So I'm excited for this one. Um, we're going to be uh, discussing strawweight uh, women uh, MMA. It's going to be uh, Thug Rose Namanunez versus Tiny Tornado Tricia Torres. Um, so Thug Rose is ranked three, uh, Tricia Torres is ranked number four, but the funny thing about this is, uh, uh Torres already beat Nama Nunes. If you guys, uh, watch the, the, the tough, you guys don't know what it is, the ultimate fighting championship, which is trying to get into the UFC. Um, she actually beat, uh, their, uh, their three main stars. She beat Felicia Herrig, she beat Nama Nunes, and she also beat, um, uh, what do you call it? Thug Rose? You know what I mean? So pretty much, Teresa Torres already beat their, uh, you know, the face of the light strawweight division. So, but now they're actually officially fighting. So whoever wins this one, I believe, gets the shot at the title against Joanna. Um, but anyways, let's uh, break down the fight. Uh, actually, let's talk about a fighter. Thug Rose came off the biggest uh, 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 fight win in her career so far. She beat Paige Van Zant. Um, pretty much she was the underdog in this fight. Nobody believed or actually knew that she was going to beat Paige Van Zandt the way she did. Pretty much outstriked her, out wrestled her, out grappled her. And when she took it down to the floor, it was pretty much over. Ended up choking her out. Nobody expected that. But, you know, with Thug Rose Nama Nunes, she's a great jujitsu practitioner. As you guys could tell because she submitted Paige Van Zandt. And she's a great striker. And she outstriked Paige Van Zandt. And she was the underdog in that fight. But definitely, I just want to bring that to you guys' attention as well. Um, you know, like right now, she's coming off that big career uh, big career win over Paige Van Zandt. She's very motivated. Um, you know, she had two wins prior to that too. So, but um, pretty much you know, her record right now is 5-2. and two. Out of those 5-2, and two, uh, pretty much all of them won by submission. So, you know, she has, uh, you know, she, she has the jiu-jitsu background. Uh, you know, her bread and butter is a striking, you know, taking that on the floor, but she finishes mainly with jujitsu. So, now let's talk about Trisha Torres. All right, Trisha Torres already beat, like what I said, beat Felicia Herrick, uh, Rose Nama Nunes, and also Paige Van Zandt uh, for the, uh, you know, the season, I guess the first MMA female, tough. So, she already beat them. So, pretty much she's explosive. Right, she's a striker, and she's a, a decent wrestler as well. That's the reason why pretty much all her fights, you know, wasn't done by KO, but pretty much by decision because she outstrike them and out wrestle people. So this is gonna come down to, you know, whoever gets the better of the exchanges, um, you know. But you know, personally, I'll just be, I'll, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this. Both of them are great fighters. She already beat Thug Nama Nunes, which uh, Trisha Torres did. So now. To me, I think Nama Nunes learned from that. Um, you know, pretty much, I think as she progresses through her career, Nama, uh, Nama Nunes, she's getting better and better every time she gets in that octagon. Um, you know, now she's at the point where she has the confidence she just beat Paige Van Zandt, which nobody expected her to. And on the other hand, um, you have <clears throat> Torres out there already beat Nama Nunes, so she has the experience. She knows what it, you know, what it takes to beat her. But the question is, who show up on fight night? So, you know, my thoughts, okay, just my thoughts. I think, uh, you know, Nama Nunes is the taller fighter, okay? So, I believe she's going to use her striking to keep uh, Torres at bay, keep her at distance. Then she's going to be uh, trying to look for angles or actually cut in angles to take her down to the ground. And pretty much, she's going to submit her. That's what I think. So, you know, guys, you know, please, you know, leave me a comment down below you know and just let me know who's you know who you're picking who you're rooting for this and give me a reason why um you think whichever fighter is going to win that night so um you know like i said if you guys like the video please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe as always thank you for watching